song I've ever written, mainly because it's very cathartic, but it also reminds me very much of Taylor Swift and the fact that I've actually added Easter eggs to people who know my songs previously. And um, it just it includes so many little details that I've never included before. So I'm very, very happy with this song. I hope you liked it. Um, so Tarnished Memories came from this idea, this conversation I had with my best friend a long time ago at the during my last breakup and 
the idea was I remember us having a conversation and talking and talking and I was just venting and I was mad and I was like, I don't even know why I loved him. I was never happy. And she stopped me and she was like, you were happy. You did love him. And I just know in that moment and every moment since I've been like, sure, I can, I guess we were happy. I guess those had golden moments, but they've been just covered over with black goo I guess in my opinion that just mars it and so comes with the idea of tarnish tarnished memories now um the thing that marred this relationship is infidelity way back when um about nine years ago or so I decided to take the high road at high road after uh, this relationship and um only wrote a song called Uncover, where I basically was like, I'm a new person without him. I'm trying to uncover who I am. Cool. However, there is an indelible mark that he has left on my heart that even seven years later, uh, I still doubt. And it's still something that pop into my head because of what happened. Now, our relationship was about a secret for like a year and a half. It was very, very special. Um, it was just really the two of us, nobody really interjected or anything during that time. And then when I was about 15, I knew I was going to be moving in six months and I told my parents like, I want to date this person because when we move, I want us to have a strong relationship. And so my parents let me date him. And after we had made it official for about three weeks after, someone decided to tell me that he actually had already cheated on me about eight months earlier during the summer while I was away. And so that was a lot for a 15 year old girl to take in. And so I do remember crying on the way home and explaining it to my best friend and crying and crying. It was a lot of tears during that time in my life. And so I decided to restart the relationship and everything seemed to be going clicking along well. And I was away again for a week, same place. And I came back and I just had to remember that I needed to do this one project that was due the next day that I had completely forgotten about. And I told him like, I can't come over tonight. I have to finish this project. And he basically told me that if I didn't come over that night, I, he was going to cheat on me again with the same girl. And in my opinion, that's blackmail. And all I did when I did go over to the thing, I didn't even talk to him very much. I just played games with his uh, family. And then I left. And at that point, when I left that night, I was out of the relationship. I was coming up with every, like, every excuse not to care about it anymore. And then I remember one Sunday, I had decided it was time. And my mom drove me to his house and she sat outside in our little minivan and I ran in, didn't even say hi to his family or anyone, went to his room, broke up with him and then like left right away. Um, and I cried. I didn't cry in the room because I don't think he deserved my respect anymore, but I cried. And to this day, I still have that hurt, you know? I've been in a relationship for seven years and the guy is absolutely incredible. But I think once someone tarnishes your memories or your self-esteem in such a way like that, it's still really hard to recover. And so I really hope somebody else listens to this song and feels seen by it, I guess, and um, gives you a good cry, hopefully, if you're that type of person. Anyway, I'm talking too long. I hope you, if you've listened to the entire explanation and you've listened to the entire song, hopefully, hopefully you love it. Anyway, thank you so much for listening. Bye.